I'm asking to file a criminal you've complaint. The secure area, you've made a threat to the building. I you did not make a threat to the, the building. That is a lie. To shoot up public buildings. I'm not threatening to shoot up no buildings. Stop being a tyrant. Stop, Stop being a tyrant. Again, contact your attorney. Does a citizen normally need an attorney to file a crim to file a complaint against an officer, sir? My bond money returned to me. The ten percent for the court. Why? Why is that? That's how it is. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. Today, we're at the Illinois Circuit Court here in Cook County. We're here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas, to promote transparency and accountability within our government, and to ensure that our public servants respect our rights and treat us with respect. Also, we are here to, number one, get the court transcripts from August 10th, where my case was dismissed, I know there is a lot of interest on what was said that day by the state's attorney, my attorney, and the judge. So we will be requesting those transcripts as well as requesting our bond money back. I paid a hundred dollar bond back in November to be released from jail. Now that the case is dismissed, I would like my money back. And number three, we would like to get a, a copy of a certified disposition just to show that the case has been dismissed. Let's get into it. We just passed through the metal detectors over here. Was told we have to go to 236 on the second floor. 236, clerk of the circuit court. Can I help who's next? Hi ma'am, how are you? I'm, I'm here to accomplish three things. I need a transcript, copy of a transcript from my hearing. Um, my bond money returned to me and a copy of the disposition regarding my case. Do you have a case number? I don't, I can give you my name. From 2021? That's correct, ma'am. I need the transcripts from the last hearing, which was August 10th. We don't do transcripts for criminal uh, cases. I can only give you a certified disposition that shows the initiation of the case, the charges, everything that happened, and the outcome. There's, there's, no, there's no transcripts for the hearings? I, I received transcripts before on one of my hearings sit in, please, sit in. on a motion to dismiss hearing. I received transcripts from my attorney. Transcript is only on a traffic case. Uh, on the criminals, we do certified dispositions. But what's the point of having a court reporter who's transcribing everything? If you, oh, like, that, if you, like a transcript of, of the actual hearing, what was said. Was what was said, exactly. That will be court reporter's office we don't have to okay thank you i'm sorry but i just need so i need the disposition, disposition. and also the um the return of my bond money yeah so um this was just over a few days ago so it's gonna be uh, let me see the so the posted fund was hundred dollars. One hundred dollars, yeah. So ten percent goes to court. So the release will be ninety dollars. Yeah. They can find a file and give it to the financial department so they can take care of it. Please, I'm not from the state. That's why okay. I'm from New York. So I'm not from here. But this is gonna be uh, check is sent. It's not gonna. Uh, given to you today it's yeah four to six weeks and check will be sent to the address on the bond okay and the other thing is the um the 10 percent for the court why why is that that's how it is they just take 10 percent else not guilty and even when even when somebody's the case is dismissed and they're not guilty and it says on the bond that the court takes 10 percent up to 100 dollars wow so let's get my. No, I I just find it weird that you know I, I'm innocent and you're still taking money from me. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Should be giving me back my. Should be giving me back all my money. I'm innocent. <laughs> right? It makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, you got to take something from me. Yep, there it is. Yep, there it is. <laughs> wow. But you have to pay $6 for certified disposition. Yeah, exactly. Got to keep paying. It's all a money machine, right? <laughs> yeah, you guys got to get your uh, paychecks, right? <laughs> it's 
not enough you guys take tax money. <laughs> oh, man. I'll have to talk to my lawyer about that. We accomplished two things, right? We've got... The bond, got the bond being mailed to my address. Mailed to your address? Correct. You got a certified disposition, you got the receipt, and court records, few offices down. Down the hall? Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. How you doing today, sir? Good. Um, I'm looking to get a copy of a transcript from a hearing that I, I had. Okay. Okay? Thank you. Appreciate it, sir. Yeah, I'm, I'm documenting. I'm an independent journalist. And your name? My name is Sean Paul. Sorry, your first name? S-E-A-N-P-A-U-L. What date was the hearing? August 10th. Of this year? Of this year. That's correct. I'm sorry? Those people versus you? Yes. Unfortunately, that's how it looks. The people versus me. Alrighty. And your case number? Uh, case number, is this it right here? 214? Can I see that? Yeah, sure. This is a certified disposition. Court reporter will give you a call. Okay. Value and let you know how many pages it is. And then um, she can tell you the... Expedited return. price? Yeah. Um, there's three... Um, delivery, there's daily, expedited, and then regular delivery. Um, she'll let you know what, um, depending on who the reporter is, the reporter, the reporter might be on vacation, I'm not sure. Okay. Um, and then she'll, uh, like I said, she'll call you or email you and let you know what the estimated pages are, and then she'll probably require a deposit. Okay. And so, could I do that over the, I'm not from the state, that's that's where the... Uh... If, you have, if you have Zelle capability, and if she does, then you can do that. Okay. And, um, but you guys arrange it. That's um, oh, okay. It's like directly through her. It's not really through like the court. It's, it's like yeah, an agreement with her. Right. Gotcha. Right. Gotcha. I didn't know that. That's interesting. Yeah. Um. Okay. So she'll be reaching out to me. Yep. Okay. Thank you so much, sir, for your time. Like I said, so if you don't hear anything like in the next three or four days, she's probably on vacation. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. I appreciate your time today. Thank you. Take care. You too. Yeah. Have a good day, sir. All right, good. All right, guys, so we're just getting out of the Illinois Circuit Court here in Cook County. No issues with recording in the publicly accessible areas, so definitely a pass there. Everybody treated us with respect. I love it, and that's when I give respect in return. Uh, we have to wait a few weeks for the bond money to be sent to my house, minus 10% for the court. I don't see why they should get 10%. I was found innocent, case was dismissed, so I don't see why they get to keep my money. We also put in an order for the transcripts. Hopefully, the court reporter will be reaching out to us shortly so I can share all that information with you in the spirit of transparency. And we do have our certified court disposition here, which I will put on the screen so you guys can read it or upload it to the website. Now it is time to go back to the Berwyn Police Department so we can try and hold them accountable. We filed an internal affairs complaint. During that encounter, the unidentified detective actually did. He said, while we were outside and I was waiting for the sergeant while he was on the phone, he grabbed my wrist, twisted my wrist, and he said, I don't want to be recorded. You don't want me recording you? Yeah, I mean, it's it's my rights, just like you're saying, you know. Don't touch yeah. me. Don't so touch I, me. I, I don't want you. Yeah, don't I, touch I, me. What are you doing? Don't record me. And since that complaint was filed back in November, we have received no updates on the investigation, only that it's ongoing and they're waiting for a disposition from the court. So now they have their disposition, the case has been dismissed. Let's see if they're gonna hold Sergeant Volante, Detective Monaco, and the other officer there when I was unlawfully arrested accountable. So let's head over there right now. Just got to the Berwyn Police Department here. Let's see if we can go inside and speak to somebody, a supervisor, someone from Internal Affairs, anyone, regarding my internal affairs complaint that was filed back in November. Let's see what they have to say about it. Hi ma'am, how are you? I'm doing well. Um, I'm looking to speak to a supervisor or someone from internal affairs, preferably, regarding an internal affairs complaint I filed back in November. I'm sorry, regarding 
regarding an internal affairs complaint that I filed back in November okay, of last year. November, you said? Yeah, of last year. Okay, what's your name? My first name, Sean Paul, S-E-A-N-P-A-U-L. And my last name's Reyes, R-E-Y-E-S. Last November, you said, right? Yeah, it was filed last November. I haven't had any updates. The, the charge that was... I was arrested and I filed an oh. internal affairs complaint. Uh -huh. That arrest has since, that case has since been dismissed by the court. Oh, okay. So I don't know if they're waiting for it to be dismissed or anything to give any results on the internal affairs investigation. So that's why I want to speak to somebody from either internal affairs or a supervisor. Okay. 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 Internal affairs, I don't know what that, where, who that would be, but supervisor, I can probably. Okay. Thank you. Anybody you can get. I appreciate it. Thank you. There's no supervisor right now available. They don't, they don't, internal affairs doesn't answer my phone calls or emails, so it's impossible to make an appointment. You know, it's easier to speak, I just, I just spoke with the mayor. Um, it seems like it's easier to speak with the mayor than it is to speak with a supervisor here at the police department, you know. I'm just trying to follow up. I also want to file another, an, another complaint against an officer um, from the last time I was here, a division commander guy. Um, I would like to file a complaint. So whether they want to speak to me about the old complaint or not, that's up to them. They want to hide behind their, in their office. Um, I need somebody here to file a complaint as well. So I need to speak with somebody. There's got to be somebody available to speak with to file a, a complaint against an officer. Okay. There has to be. Hey, how are you? How are you? Um, Sergeant? Watch Commander Man. Watch Commander Man. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to speak with you regarding a complaint against an, um, the division commander. Okay. Um, I don't know how to say his name. Ochsner. Okay. okay. How do I pronounce his name? Ochsner. Ochsner. Okay. Ochsner. Um, my understanding, you filed paperwork this morning, okay, at City Hall. You have an attorney retained. Okay, so my advice to you is to contact your attorney for legal advice on how to move forward with filing complaints. I don't, but I, I don't need legal advice. I'm just, I'm here as a citizen, not with my attorney, not for any lawsuit purposes. I'm just here as a citizen to file a complaint against Division Commander Ochsner. Okay. I'm asking to file a criminal you complaint. The secure area. You've made a threat to the building. I you did not make a threat to the building. That is a lie. You are lying. I'm not lying. Stop you are aside. lying. I'll post it online. To shoot a public building. I'm not threatening to shoot up no buildings. Stop being a tyrant. Stop, Stop being a tyrant. Again, contact your attorney. Does a citizen normally need an attorney to file a crim to file a complaint against an officer, sir? In this situation, yes. Okay. Why in this situation is it different? Nothing else for you. Okay. Have a good day. I I don't understand. What do you What do you mean, sir? I'm just trying to file a, a complaint against an officer. Wow. Insane. What a bunch of cowards. So as you just saw, we're getting out of the Berwyn Police Department here. There's not really much else to say that I didn't say already inside. They're a bunch of cowards. They're tyrants. There's no petitioning your grievances to your government here in Berwyn without your attorney present. Contact your attorney if you want to file a complaint against one of our officers. What? That is insane. That is insane. Shame on the watch commander here. Shame on the entire department. From Chief Samaglia on down, shame on all of you. This is completely insane. Federal lawsuit is incoming and you guys will pay one way or another, but it just sucks that the money will have to come from the taxpayers. But we're gonna use that money, like I said in the live, we're gonna use that money to expose the Berwyn Police Department to its constituents and citizens here and expose Mayor Lavero. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fight him every step of the way. We're never gonna give up, guys. You saw it for yourself. This is real news. This is what's really happening. You cannot file a complaint here. Ridiculous. It's really unbelievable. Never seen a department who won't take a, a police complaint, a complaint against an officer, or give you any updates on a complaint you filed back in November. We are now in August. Completely insane. But this is what this is what Berwin wants to show to we the people. So let's hold them all accountable. Let's hold them all accountable together legally, guys. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video.
Long Island on it. Peace.